Double Pomo, day 10. Today, I'm gonna to start a series uh, of posts talking about modifications and um, some of the typical modifications riders do to their bike, some of the modifications I've done and uh, hope to do or would love to do, uh, given the funds. Um, we're gonna start with the most common modification most riders do to their bikes as soon as they get them or shortly thereafter, and that's change the exhaust cam. Uh, often uh, the, the entire system is replaced, including the, uh, the exhaust pipes as well. Um, sometimes it's just more affordable just to replace the end cam. Um, uh, sometimes it might be the only option. And there are several reasons for this. First is aesthetics. Uh, the current trend in, uh, in motorcycle design uh, regarding exhaust is that they're kind of big and bulky and they have strange shapes. They're kind of triangular and uh, conical. They're not, they're not the most aesthetic. They, they, they blend in with the lines of the, the, the fairing a little bit and uh, um, I'm sure there's lots of um, emissions laws that are taken into consideration with the uh, internals which dictates the kind of shape. Um, However, they're pretty hideously ugly and they're awfully heavy as well. So, so from an aesthetic standpoint, um, carbon fiber is a popular replacement choice. And that's what I have here, the, the, the black uh, carbon fiber look is a yeah, very popular replacement. There's also titanium, brushed aluminum, certain other uh, looks. But the other uh, reason for changing out the stock exhaust can for an aftermarket one is uh, weight savings. Like I said, this is carbon fiber right here. I have the stock Suzuki TL exhaust can, and this weighs about uh, about eight pounds, and it's about twice as heavy as the uh, as the carbon fiber. Now, there's obviously I think there's less internals. This is a performance exhaust. Um, this has all kinds of internal baffling for emissions laws and whatnot. And so there's weight savings there when you consider there's two of these on the TL. Um, some exhaust. Uh, systems when you do a full system including the exhaust pipes as well um, they can offer really significant weight savings the other reasons motorcyclists swap out their, their exhaust is because of uh, power gains now um, a performance can can give you know some some modest uh, gains of one three to ten horsepower maybe uh, where sort of full race systems can probably give 15 to 30 horsepower uh, gains maybe more than that if, it, if it's tuned with a with a with a computer chip to, to match it so uh, some fairly significant um, performance gains there as well and of course the final reason that uh, people change their exhaust is for the sound the the, the, the internal baffling and the, for the, ex the emissions and noise uh, regulations for, for, for worldwide uh, dictate that the manufacturers have to put on like a very, very um, throttled exhaust in terms of, of sound and performance really. And the modern motorcycle with a factory exhaust, it really sounds like a wet fart if I'm being honest. Um, and also very quiet. But um, an exhaust like this um, will give a modest increase in decibel output but the tone is actually much nicer uh, there are some full race systems that will give really significant increases in decibel output which means they're really loud and quite obnoxious they're meant for track use only but um, they sound really really good and um, the tone on the TL sounds really nice it adds a little rasp to it these sounded they sound really throttled and really restricted the tone isn't isn't really there the tone on these sounds really nice gives a lot more of that sort of bass bottom end rumble and so an inline four that also has that kind of raspiness to it as you roll off the throttle or it has that real sort of crackle as a, as you hit the power band um, that really is a, a big reason why a lot of motorcyclists will swap out their exhaust um, so that's exhaust uh, this has been Navla Pomo day 10 we're moving swiftly along uh, I'm falling behind a little bit but trying to push forward, push forward and catch up. Uh, if you like what you hear, um, follow me at Lean Angles on Twitter for all things motorcycles. Otherwise, uh, at Influx on Twitter for everything else. And um, if you have more questions, please feel free to leave a comment here or uh, leave a comment over at Lean Angles uh, on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash Lean Angles. And uh, leave me a comment there if you have any questions about something I've said on one of these Navla Pomo episodes. Okay, be seeing you tomorrow. Until then, ride on and keep vlogging.